So here we are, guys. Here we are, here we are, here we are. I wanted you guys, I'm gonna flip this around and see some of this beautiful, so much sun. Let me see. Um, see if you can see this beautiful artwork. Isn't that beautiful? I tell you, they've had so many people one of you guys to see this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Y'all know I'm a lover of art. And um, people from near and far have put just beautiful art up. Black Lives Matter. That's a picture of George Floyd in an abstract painting. And here's another beautiful, I love this, a white hand, a black hand together. It says unity, love, hope for change. And it says together we rise. God bless you, Mother Gwen. God bless you, Sister Kimberly. I'm telling you, I, I, I came off for a minute and I got some phenomenal uh, pictures that I'm going to be posting. And I just wanted to send a little bit to you guys with hope that you're able to plan an event to get here somehow some way but just in case you guys can't make it here's some more i'm standing under a, a umbrella right now some more beautiful artwork um, that's being seen let me go down here and see if they have any other artwork but this whole entire boulevard I want to walk down to see if I can get to the sign so you guys can witness the sign I've I've shown I'm gonna I'm gonna post some pictures um, over the businesses and industry buildings that says black lives matter here in Washington uh, but I want to get a picture and show you guys live the name change of the boulevard I hope I can hope I can find it because there's several people that may be there and if it's at a distance that I have to post it I'm hoping I can get it but this is just some more um, artwork uh, that says no justice no peace and people are just taking pictures of themselves in front of the artwork Beautiful, beautiful. This is historical. As y'all know, we ain't never had this. So this is a great break. And there were a lot of people. I'm sure the Frederick Douglasses who were um, activists in their days and the many, many people who stood with him even when we think about the Harriet Tubman's of the world and just her alone, just the great work that was done to free people from slavery so that they can come to a place of justice. And I sometimes wonder what they would say if they were alive now. You know, what, what would they be saying? What would their voices be like? Having experienced this so many years before us, you know, and I was thinking um, a little while ago, um, and I turned the camera back around a little while ago and talking to, this at least it's a nice breeze because it's hot y'all, um, talking with Shantae and how so many people uh, with the millennials um, have said to her, well, we didn't do it. We weren't there. We weren't a part of it. And so why should we have to suffer? and experience the African-Americans pain because they weren't there. Well, we weren't there either. You know, we weren't there in the early years, the centuries before in slavery, but yet we're still suffering now. So what are we saying? You know, what are we doing? The point is we have to do something about it because none of us were living at that age and time, but yet here we are in 2020 and there must be a change. People have to be responsible for the actions that are taking place. We're not trying to pinpoint or saying this particular person or that particular person. We're just saying as a whole, 
as black people, we shouldn't have to suffer through this. White people who are committing the injustices has to stop. That, that, that's what it is in a nutshell. So that's what it's all about. And they don't seem to get it. And it's, it's, it's understandable uh, because they're not African-American people. And we are, and we understand it. But we're grateful for uh, those who do. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, oh, here it is. Let me turn it. There it is, guys. Right at the very top. Let me see if I could, woo, look at that. Now when I came in, I didn't see it. But there it is, Black Lives Matter. Wow. Wow. Y'all send that. Let somebody see that. There it is. Let's see if I can stretch it. God bless you, Brother Billy. God bless you, Brother Darrell. God bless you. My, Mother Gwen, you said, where are we? I'm in Washington. I'm at the actual site. We've been told that since this site has opened up and the mayor here has allowed it to be a Black Lives Matter Boulevard, not Boulevard, but Plaza, that there are many other sites that are opening up everywhere and they're naming plazas and boulevards in their city and they're putting it up on the signs. They're putting it in the street. I took a lot, a lot of pictures. I will be posting them so you guys can get a chance to see this and bear witness to this and just, just be a part of it. What's happening in the earth? This is a phenomenal time. We, we are living in such a time as this for change, a time that we thought would never happen. But those of us who are believers in the word of God, we know that the doors God open, only he can open. We know the doors that he closed, that only he can close. This is the timing of God and he will bring his self glory. What a powerful witness to see this. And so at the same times, while it may feel like we're hurting, that we're suffering, God bless you. Uh, I think it's Ryo. Thank God for you for being with us and all those that are coming in. And sometimes it might seem like we're going through a tremendous hurt, but I tell you, God knows how to bring peace in the storm. He knows how to give comfort, even in the hour of pain. And so let us stay hopeful and let us stay prayerful that while it may look like not a whole lot, it's changing, it's changing. Just the fact that you can see that song sign alone bears witness. There's a scripture uh, that the Lord put on my heart and um, and I've been posting it a lot and pull that camera back and talking about it a lot. Um, it's from Exodus, the fifth chapter, verse one, where God has Moses to go in and he tells Pharaoh to let the people go. And so we're living in such a time as this. God is moving by his spirit. So that these people have to let the people of God go. Those who are in political power, powers to be. So let's continue to pray because there is wickedness. And we know everything that's in the natural is first in the spirit. And so that's what we're doing. We are in a spiritual fight. We're in a spiritual warfare for the weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. And so we have to pray, speak over these situations and fulfill the word of God. When he says, if you ask of me, I'll answer. He says, if you knock on that door, I'll open it. If you seek me, you'll find me. And that's what we're doing. That's what our stand and that's what our position is about. That's, that's why we're going to all of the, uh, of the prayer stands because we're trusting God. We want him to know that there are people, Father, who's believing you and trusting you. So that's what this thing is all about. And it's about standing together. It's about waiting on the Lord, being strong, being encouraged, not quitting, not fainting, but continue to move on and believe God and trust him that he'll give us the strength. He'll give us the wherewithal to go on. We're doing like Christ. We're following him. That's what he said, follow me. 
and he showed us how to follow him by moving in the midst of societies and governments and people who were serving injustices to people, taking advantage of those who were poor, really robbing and taking from those who didn't have, being a voice to a people, being a threat to his society, really he was, uh, to say that these people matter. And that's what we're still saying from all of that time ago, that people still matter. Black lives matter. God bless you. We'll be back a little bit later, all right? God bless you. God bless you, Brother Dwayne. How are you? Minister Settles, God bless you. Larry, how are you? Uh, I was telling them a little bit earlier, we're here in Washington. We are at the Black Lives Matters Plaza. I, 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 I wish I could send really what, what I feel through this live, but that's impossible. But I guess you can sense it, you know, through my presence, by, 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 by my spirit that it, it is just exciting, it, it's overwhelming to see how quick God is moving and how he's answering our prayers. God loves us. I want everybody to be encouraged and stand strong about that thing. God does, he loves us and we have to see it. No matter how small it is, this is a unique moment. This is historical and I'm blessed and I'm grateful to the Lord every day that I can be in the midst of such a phenomenal time as this. I just wanted to send a little bit of it to you and encourage you, if you can, schedule yourself, make it down here, witness it for your own self. I'm so happy to be in the midst of the people, to see the artwork, to see the signs of Black Lives Matter posted up on the boardings of buildings. It's a long stretch uh, of, of the Black Lives Matters that have been shut down here in Washington where people can freely walk and enjoy themselves and enjoy the moment. It's just a phenomenal time. But I know, I don't care what lives go out, it's not It's not going to touch it. It's not going to make the difference uh, as of you being here for yourself. So just enjoy this. Share it with somebody so that they can just get a feel and that they would want to be inspired to just come and even make some of the prayer groups. I encourage everybody to make some of those prayer groups, all right? We'll see you again in just a little bit. God bless everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.